So Nintendo has been putting some games on mobile for quite some time now. We have games like Super Mario Run, Fire Emblem Heroes, and also Animal Crossing. I think something camp is on mobile as well. And these games really don't float my boat. They're not games that I really want to play. First of all, I'm really not that type of a gamer who likes playing games on like their cell phone or their tablet. I'm, I don't play those type of games, but I can see a lot of people gravitating towards these type of games when they go into like the App Store or the Google Play Store. I can see them gravitating towards these games because they might remember like Mario for instance uh, uh, when they were a kid and they want to play that and they want to check that out or they may see it's from Nintendo so they'll go ahead and get, get those kind of games a shot. So usually when Nintendo announces a lot of mobile games or games on mobile, I really just discard them and I really don't talk about them. I really don't even check them out or anything like that. But there is one thing that caught my eye which really surprised me. In 2019, Nintendo is going to be making a Mario Kart game for mobile. And that's what really piqued my interest because if you guys didn't know, I am a big Mario Kart fan. I played all the iterations of Mario Mario Kart going back to Super Mario Kart on the SNES, the very first one. So I am a big fan. When I heard about this, this has piqued my interest. Now, there could be a number of things they could do with Mario Kart on the actual mobile. Apparently also it's called Mario Kart Tour and that really makes me wonder what they're going to do with this. And this is one of their franchises that is not just a little stowaway franchise. This is one of their biggest franchises of all time because if you look at Nintendo's past, you will see on a lot of like top 10 list of best selling games for each system. A lot of the times Mario Kart is either number one or it's at least at the top number, the top three spot. It's that good. That's how you know people really love Mario Kart. And they can really bank off of Mario Kart if they do this whole entire thing right. This could be a win-win situation for Nintendo if they make the Mario Kart on the uh, mobile right. Does this also mean that we're going to be getting a Mario Kart game on the actual uh, Nintendo Switch? What I mean by that is, are we actually going to be getting a Mario Kart 9 or are we just going to be getting this Mario Kart Tour and they're not going to give us a true Mario Kart on the Switch? We'll just be stuck with Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Is that going to be the case? There's really no way of knowing, but I personally think if this is a, a going to be coming out for mobile, I think that this is going to be a, some kind of spin-off game to the actual series and maybe we'll still get one on the Nintendo Switch. So I still think the Nintendo Switch is going to be getting some type of Mario Kart 9 or Mario Kart whatever. This is just something to tie this down until that day comes. And there's just a lot of questions in my mind. From the name Mario Kart Tour, what I'm thinking is they can actually bank off of more of Mario Kart 8. What I mean by that is they can also... Uh, they can uh, make this game kind of like a Mario, not a Mario Kart, of course it's Mario Kart, <laughs> obviously. But what I'm trying to say is they could kind of make this like how Mario Kart had all diff some different characters and some different franchises into it. It is called Mario Kart Tour, so maybe they'll throw in more Nintendo franchise and make it more of like a Nintendo Kart situation. And I, I just don't know what to expect with this Mario Kart, Kart Tour, but it is just very exciting news that they are making a uh, Mario Kart on mobile and uh, I don't know how they're going to how they're going to make this play. Are they going to make it play in a portrait style or are they going to make it in a landscape for your phone? I can see this being a portrait uh, game, believe it or not, and uh, still working out. I know that sounds crazy, but it's Nintendo. If they really wanted to make this Mario Kart game play in portrait mode, they could, but I honestly don't think they would want to make this game a portrait style game where you're holding your phone upright instead of holding it di holding it this this way I always get those two uh, vertical and horizontal mixed up so I apologize for that but uh, yeah there's just so many possibilities that this game could all is this game gonna be a free to play game or is it gonna actually cost money as well because that's the thing Mario Kart sells itself and this is not the first time Nintendo or some other company made like a some kind of a spin-off game. If you remember uh, Bandai Namco, I think they actually made the Mario Kart GP games, which you could actually play, I think, at like Dave and Buster's. Uh, it's an arcade game where you actually sit in, in a vehicle and you play Mario Kart. Granted, that game wasn't good, and it actually uh, featured some uh, third-party characters. I can't remember all the characters in it, but it did feature uh, Pac-Man in the game. Overall, it was pretty mediocre. That's what I could kind of feel like this game's gonna be, it's gonna be like a kind of mediocre, a mediocre Mario Kart game because they can't make it a full-blown Mario Kart game. If they made this a full-blown Mario Kart game, it wouldn't make any sense just because we have Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and they don't want people to be saying this is the next Mario Kart and then they still have Mario Kart 8 Deluxe out. They would, they, it would be hurting sales of that game. Granted, that game is a port of a game, and by that point, it would already been out like 
a long time by then since Mario Kart Tour is coming out next year but next year so I don't know I don't think it's gonna be a full-blown Mario Kart game I think it's gonna be a kind of like I said a spin-off of Mar the Mario Kart series it'll still be Mario Kart but it won't have all the uh, features it's gonna the controls won't be that great it'll be something that you can just play if you're bored and that's that but then again this is Nintendo Nintendo does do it some they have done some crazy things and this could be a full-fledged Mario Kart and this could be the next Mario Kart believe it or not they really wanted to milk the Mario Kart series and say this is the next Mario Kart they could make this the full-blown next Mario Kart and then we would all be playing this thing on mobile but that wouldn't make sense either because the Nintendo Switch already has I think already 13 14 something million units now and by by 2019 it's probably gonna have like 20 million so I don't know why they would want to put make a true Mario Kart died on mobile and then leave the Nintendo Switch fans out because there'll be so many Nintendo Switches out by then and there'll also be the Nintendo Paid online by that point. So why would they want to call this the true uh, se 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 sequel to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe or the next one after Mario Kart 8 Deluxe? Anyway, that's just some pretty exciting news hearing that Mario Kart is coming to mobile. Anyway guys, this is Wayne from My Tech News signing out.